Speedy from Analytics India magazine and today's video will be focused on the highlights of Google for India 2020 event. This is the sixth Google for India event and the first virtual edition. So let's get to the highlights. Coming to the biggest highlight of the event, Google announces rupees 75,000 crore India digitalization fund. According to Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google and Alphabet, the investment of this digitalization fund will mainly focus on four areas that are important to India's digitalization. They are first, enabling affordable access and information for every Indian in their own language, whether it's Hindi, Tamil, Punjabi or any other. Second, building new products and services that are deeply relevant to India's unique needs. Third, empowering businesses as they continue or embark on their digital transformation. Fourth, leveraging technology and AI for social good in areas like health, education and agriculture. Moving on, AI tutor app Bolo is rolling out worldwide. Sundar Pichai says that Bolo, a new speech-based reading tutor app that helps children learn to read, will be rolling out globally. The app is currently available in 180 countries. Designed for primary grade students, Bolo powered by Google speech recognition and text-to-speech technology comes with an inbuilt fun and helpful reading buddy, Dia. Dia encourages, aids, explains and corrects the child as they read aloud anytime, anywhere. Moving on, let's talk about Google AI's initiative and Internet Sathi. Sanjay Gupta, Google India country head and vice president, says that Google has over 500 million users in India and that Google AI's prediction can now warn about a flood or a cyclone 48 hours ahead of the calamity. Gupta also spoke about Google's coverage on precautions and other crucial information on COVID-19. Google has worked in over 50,000 villages to educate users about COVID-19 via its Internet Sathi initiative. Internet Sathi is a program to improve digital literacy among women in rural areas in India in order to bring them online. The program is a joint initiative of Google India, Intel and Tata Trust. The program aims to train Sathis, that means a friend, that can in turn help educate other women from their village in the use of the internet. Google India head also claims that over 120 crore rupees were donated to the PM Care Fund via Google Pay. Moving on to the other highlights, Google My Business and Google Pay Business. Caesar Saint Gupta, Google Vice President Payments, quotes an ACEA report which revealed that Android contributed to 1.6 million jobs in India. Over 26 billion small and medium businesses in India are now searchable on Google. Google My Business is a free and easy to use tool for businesses and organizations to manage their online presence across Google including search and maps. Sain Gupta also says that the Google Pay business app is being used by over 3 million merchants in India. Now, Google Pay for Business is a payments platform that works for a small business owner or a manager at a corporation. Moving on to the next highlight about the nearby store feature and Prasar Bharti. Google Pay's new nearby store feature which was launched two months back is already being used by over 2 million users in India. The feature referred to as Spot by the company is a commerce layer on the app. It enables businesses to open mini digital storefronts within the payment app where users can browse for products and services. Google will be partnering with Prasar Bharti to launch an entertainment series across its network designed to help business owners adapt to the evolving challenges of COVID-19 with online tools, learn from other companies and plan for the long-term future. Coming to the last highlight, Google's initiative towards the education sector. Sapna Chadda, Google Senior Country Marketing Director India and Southeast Asia spoke about Teach for Home project and Google Meet being made available for all users till 30th September. Google Teach from Home is an initiative to help teachers and families keep students learning during the coronavirus crisis. Google also announces partnership with CBSE Skill Education and Training. By the end of 2020, Google will enable 1 million teachers and 22,000 students across India to combine classroom approach with online learning using free tools like G Suite, Google Classroom, YouTube and more. Google also announced $1 million grant 
through its Global Distance Learning Fund. The grant will help teachers in India to deliver virtual education for students to continue learning at home. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.